York City Councilwoman defends the First Amendment rights of the firefighters scolded for booing Attorney General Letitia James. I heard they're in trouble. Well, here's the thing. A I heard New that York those City firefighters are in trouble. A New York City Council member came to the defense of the firefighters who booed New York Attorney General Letitia James and cheered for former President Donald Trump last week. Calling his name out, too. After the FDNY said it was looking into staff who broke the department regulations. That sounds a little like Marxism, she said. Um, Joanne Arola told um, Fox and Friends on Tuesday. There should be no retribution for this. This isn't the first time that booing happened. Mayor Bill Bellasio was booed by the police department on multiple occasions. And we all saw what happened to the police department during the Bellasio administration and how it was destroyed and dismantled. And we cannot let remnants from that administration do that to our firefighters. The booing erupted last Thursday as Leticia James took the podium to honor the swearing in of the first African-American woman chaplain for the fire department, Reverend Pamela Holmes, as well as other first responders. Oh, come on, we're in the house of God, simmer down, she told the rowdy crowd. Thank you for getting it out of your system. As James continued her remarks, the crowd repeatedly chanted Trump. Trump. Mm -hmm. So I think this is different for me. I feel like if they would have just booed her, and then she calmed them down, and then she went on with her speech. Mm-hmm. I agree. I don't think you need to reprimand anybody. Went beyond food. But when you she calmed you down, mm-hmm. and then as they're going on with the program, Thank you. you're yelling out Trump. Now you have crossed the line. Now we are interfering with the program. You, you crossed the line now. I get the first booze, give you time to get out there and get your, <clears throat> excuse me, everyone, <laughs> boo. But the moment you start saying Trump, Trump, now you interfere now with you not only the event, but no, don't call his name out. Even if they was calling out Obama, no, it doesn't she matter. she said use that on your own time. Right, right. When you can, you can voice your opinion on who you voting for, political views, but not on your, why you being paid. You better exactly. shut up. And you got on a uniform. Thank you. So shut up, So I don't man. know what this um, congresswoman is talking about. Shut you up. You don't do that. Fireman. Again, I, I don't have a problem with them booing her. If you come on stage, even Trump, if you invite him someplace to speak. He'll tell you to leave, though. And he he'll comes, say, get him out of here. Well, he can't tell everybody. No, I, no. It was all mostly all of them. Who all booed him? No, no, her. No, no, I'm saying in his situation, it's been a few hecklers. Right. And he would say, remove them. Yeah, of course. Right. But a whole audience or mostly of the audience. I don't well, know. The, the union leader has to talk about this. Yeah. But what I'm saying they is. They should be fine. Boo her when she come out. That's fine. Who cares? Mm. But once the program starts, you can't be chanting. I don't care if you chant Biden. You can't chant anything while the program is going on. And you have on a uniform and you're being destructive. She said, do that on your own time, though. That so I agree. I she agree. said, when you guys are out of uniform, you can go boo and go to rallies. Now, I do you agree. Can wear your, and I'm, being not, not, I'm not being mean when I say this. Back in the day, you can go put on your Ku Klux Klan outfit and march down the streets of New York. But not why you got your uniform on right. and you are on the clock. Now I do agree with this. I agree that they could they should be reprimanded. Yeah. I don't think they should lose their jobs. No, no, not that far. That's what she's saying. I think they should be reprimanded and they should be fine. She said that the, they absolutely should not lose their jobs. The union take take away. This a pay is the or First something. Amendment right. Not so, why you on. I agree. Not why your uniform is on. And you are in an event. Right. I don't care about this freedom of speech. I We would be talked about if we did that at our, our company if, when we have our meetings exactly. with the CEO. Exactly. Boom! They actually Boom. fire you. Yes. Security will come and remove us. So. We're at work. And the CEO, the president is talking and getting ready to introduce. We may, he may introduce Trump. Yeah. We got to be careful with that. Yeah. Don't boo him. Now. At the, at the company. We was at our... Um, uh, sorority meeting, oh, yeah. um, our national meeting, mm-hmm. and they asked, remember, a Trump um star to speak. Mm-hmm. She was a black woman, and she was in Trump's administration. Mm-hmm. 
when she walked up, people booed. And what happened after that? The um, sororities leaders got up and said, don't do that. Don't do that. They shut them down. You don't do I don't care if you hate the juice on their eyeballs. That is not the time for your know, freedom of speech to be yeah, with your little picket signs. We invited no. her to come. Yeah, she's now, our guest. When we sat at our table, we were talking. We was like, Ooh, mm-hmm. but we didn't boo real loud like that. No, we was like talking under our breath. We was like, talking under our breath. Never come here. Let's hear what she got to say. And about. I don't have to clap if she says something. That's true. That's true. I could be quiet and stone faced the whole time like she's they up do there. On the, uh, the, the dress, the what you call it, a dress they do on Thank the floor. You. What, Thank what, you. What was that recently? The State the of the State Union. The State of the Union. The Republicans didn't stand up and clap. And the Democrats, they sit down when they don't agree with something. Thank you. But yeah, I really think they should follow suit with that because that was very disrespectful. And she's um, bringing in a chaplain. Yeah. That chaplain should have turned around and said, I rebuke all of y'all in the name of Jesus. Come out, Satan. The blood of Jesus is against you. And then Letitia would go, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> that, you know what? That should have been that chaplain's first thing. You're right. We're going to join hands. We're going to bind that spirit yeah, up in here. That spirit of hatred and, and racism and prejudice. Father God, we pray over all of these firefighters. We don't want them having any kind of haughtiness and evilness in their hearts. When they go put a fire out, it don't matter if they're Republican or Democratic. They go put that fire out and treat everybody with love. Thank you. Yay. Hiya, hiya. hiya. Don't mess with us. You tie my bow tie. Tie my bow tie. Honda, Honda, Honda. I, mean, I don't like Honda, that. That's Civic, Honda, so Honda. disrespectful. And that's the enemy himself. That's how he is. He's a, he's the author of confusion. So I agree with her when she said booing, they so shouldn't get recommended for booing. For booing. Right. But when they kept on and said Trump, Trump. They was chanting Trump's chant, name. While she was doing the thing, then I don't agree with that. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah. Firefighters. I'm ashamed of y'all. When Kim told me that story, I just felt like um justice says usually they will stand up and turn their backs on the person wendy says i was scared the whole time um in haiti oh when she went to haiti oh yeah yeah oh yeah it's bad what do you think about them saying what justice said if they stood up and turned their back it wouldn't matter as long as they don't talk as long as they not yell don't interfere with her over the microphone introducing the I chaplain agree. i agree that's working with y'all how dare you do that i agree and if your aunt is against her, take it out personally on the outside. That chaplain has nothing to do with y'all yep. and, and Trump and whatever. That's her job. Yep. That made me angry when I heard that. All That's right. just disrespectful. All right. So tomorrow. Firefighters. I'm going to I'm gonna close here. So tomorrow we'll talk about <laughs> that guy, that special counsel, her. Y'all seen oh, him. Yeah. But with uh, Biden, uh, I'm an old man. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember having those boxes? I don't remember. And then the Democrats mad that the man said that Biden was old. Yeah. Take the win, you big dummies. I told you, Democrats play checkers and Republicans play chess. Yeah. And then the Republicans showing video of Biden forgetting stuff. Mm-hmm. The Democrats come back and show a video of Trump forgetting stuff. <laughs> ridiculous they sure did show their little video so that one and then we'll talk about um oh yeah the trump employee who worked for him my you remember this story and he took boxes out of his car loaded them on the plane and stuff he said he didn't know what it was he just was putting boxes there if trump has you doing anything you would ask because you could be in jail the next moment <laughs> and then rfk jr <laughs> I oh, think he yeah. names Aaron Rodgers as his vice president. No. <laughs> That's a joke. I know. Are we really taking this whole thing with Well, he know he's not going to win. That's so. a that's just funny. Not funny. Right. Now and every and day taking people votes too that may be voting for him. Voting for Trump. No. So that's why the Democrats don't care. Anybody oh, who's voting for he, RFK, no, but RFK is independent. No, but he's he's conservative. Oh. So the people who voted for RFK would vote for Trump. Oh, okay. That's why the Democrats don't care. But they do. now they said they don't know. They soon now. they said soon Trump is going to start attacking RFK. So I can't wait for this. Oh wow! He going to start attacking him. 
because he's taking votes away from him. Oh. He had to deal with Nikki Haley first. Okay. Now he has to get yeah, RFK he's been out of known here. To do that. You're so right. now he's gonna go after RFK. Okay. All right. Every day we always try to some 